Hello, guys. <coughs> Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? How y'all doing? Hey, hey, hey. Today is day 12, the last day of 12 days of Christmas. Hope you guys been enjoying it. Hey, 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 Tamala. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> I'm so excited. Today is the 12th day of 12 days of Christmas. I am elated that I have done it. I'm here. It's here. I done that. How about that? And did some good content behind all that good stuff. <clears throat> so welcome guys. My name is Veronica Anderson with Reeves by Veronica. Not only do I sell the Reeves I create, but I teach others like you to create your own masterpiece. And you see I have on my shirt, right? Reeves by Veronica Masterclass. And you can join there at Reeves reesbyveronica.com slash masterclass. You can go there and join. <clears throat> What's been going on? How was your weekend? How's your day? Everybody having a good day? I am. I've been working all day. And uh, I have so we gonna do some stuff today. What we gonna do is create a a <clears throat> a little wreath for my uh, entryway. So when you come into my home, I have a uh, you know you go into the door and it's a mirror right there. So I'm gonna make a wreath to go on that mirror. So when people walk in, the first thing they are gonna see is hello and a merry beautiful Christmas uh, wreath right there. <clears throat> now before we get started. I want to thank you guys for coming in every day on these 12 days of Christmas, commenting and spreading this. I truly, truly enjoy. You was out trying to do some last minute shopping. Now, you know what? I have not did any shopping, to be honest with you. I just put my tree up last night. I've decorated the house, did that. All that I'm going to do. Hello, that's it. But uh, <clears throat> I want to give a recap of the 12 days of Christmas, what we have done. Day one, we created that beautiful, fabulous, gorgeous 22-inch gold glitter wreath using real red velvet and cheetah print ribbon. That wreath says it all, guys. And uh, someone purchased it the same day. And also, if you look on there, I just post a picture of her where she put it, have it on her front door. It looks fantabulous. It's gorgeous. Day two, we created a coffee mug. So, and a <clears throat> gift box for it to go into the, um, to go into the, um, coffee mug. So I'm going to show you guys what I did. Well, I already got the little stuff in there, the little rose petals. And I'm going to put some pine cones in there, some uh, cinnamon pine cones. And I'm also going to put a a um, Starbucks gift card. So this is the mug that we created. For, uh, on day <clears throat> what was that day two we created this mug here so that was one of the contents that we did on that and also I already made a label with her name on it so that way she can have that on there that'll be super cute and then we made the cute little box to go with it so when she gets this she gonna be like hey thank you Miss Veronica Okay, day three. I'm going over all the recaps that we did on 12 days because we did some good stuff here. Trust me, we did. <clears throat> day two, 
here gonna be day two. Day three, we made this galvanized farmhouse uh, tray. Today, I choose joy. So, and I have this place under my uh, <clears throat> baker's rack, right on the bottom shelf. So, I love that. It looks very well because most of my stuff on my baker's rack is galvanized. You know, I got silver and uh, white going on in there. Hello, hello, everyone. Nothing on the shelves. Shelves are empty. Everybody uh, just buying up everything. I might as well tell you because, you know, they at home. You know, they at home doing work virtually and all that stuff. So, they got a lot of time on their hand now. So, hey, they saying, let's go shopping. So, that tells me a lot of people that I know going to get some gift cards. How about that? <clears throat> so, the next, the day four, what we did, we created that wreath. We created a Christmas wreath. For someone and that reef is gone where it's in the other room waiting on the customer to come pick it up day five I was showing you guys how to fluff a evergreen um, a evergreen reef so I showed you how to do that day six we made some ornaments Christmas ornaments so guys if you did not get a chance to watch all of those you can go into my page where you are now and just watch the replay if you choose to. Day seven, we made some cute little cords right here. <clears throat> made this cute little cord here. I'm loving that. That is super duper cute. And we made two rather right here. Isn't that cute? Love, love, love. And... Day eight, <clears throat> we made another Christmas gift, and it is this here. It is a glass <clears throat> where you can put your makeup brushes and uh, whatever else you want to put in here. As you can see, it has my name on it, so I made this one from Veronica. And on this side, I have in Believe in Your Dream, and I put some little bling on it. And as you can see, purple is my favorite color. So I got this uh, pre-lit can uh, candle, battery candle. It's uh, with a, a purple rose in it. Isn't that cute? I love that. So this is a cute gift, guys. You can make this. You can make this. <clears throat> Day nine, we discuss different types of mesh. I have mesh on top of mesh. Just to show you guys different texture, uh, uh, how would I use the mesh? Now, again, it's just my opinion on how I use my mesh. Now, everyone else use their mesh however they want to, but I wanted to show you different types of mesh and what are those nests sometimes you normally use for. When you see the pictures, you can put put it in your put it in and say, well, okay, I remember Veronica talking about that mesh there. They. 10 we talked about how to use uh how to put uh use the stem pick machine i showed you how to put a pick on it that's if your uh pick if your spray or your pick that you're trying to put in is a little short it'll give you some length on it and uh also showed you how to insert it into a grapevine wreath also into a work form wreath so we did that day 11 which was yesterday we created this cute pillow i'm loving it it is super duper cute this is one of my decors for my christmas decoration in my home right now <coughs> so i love that pillow it came out cute i'm loving 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 it and today is day 12 what we gonna do today we going to make a wreath for me so I can put it on my mirror. And to put that on your mirror, you need a suction cup like this here. <clears throat> now you can purchase these at your local craft stores. They have them. So, and I put it on my mirror and it stays there. Now I wouldn't suggest put a heavy wreath on there. This is why I'm using this one because this one is lightweight and I'm not really putting anything in there. I'm putting a few bugs in it few ornaments in it and a cute bow and that is it that's all it need this is going to be a simple 
wreath uh, quick and easy because a lot of time we need that quick and easy stuff. And before I get started, I'm introducing myself again. My name is Veronica Anderson with Wreaths by Veronica. Not only do I sell the wreaths I create, but I teach others like you to create your own masterpiece. So, and today is day 12 of 12 days of Christmas. I started December the 1st. That's why I started on December 1st, so I can just go on the days just like that. All right, I'm going to load the camera a little bit so we, I can show y'all what we're working with. So, check this out. <clears throat> I purchased this a while back at Joann's. So, when I got it, I was looking at it and I said, oh, it's white. I can use this for Christmas. Just adding whatever the ribbon color will be the color that I'm using for Christmas. And I am my colors for Christmas is red and white with the hint of black and white. You know, I want to put that in there. So all of that just ties in together. And I also incorporated some silver to pop it out a little bit more. So thank you, Sherry. How are you? How are you, Miss Georgie? <clears throat> So this is the reef here. As you can see, it has a little glitter in it because I sprayed it about an hour or so ago. Just give it some, I uh, put some silver glitter on it. And as you can see, real close in, it got some glitter in it, you know, with the little silver in it. So I said, well, I want to have a little spark on it. It was just, just white. So <clears throat> what you're gonna do now, so you, when you get your wreath, it's like this, and sometimes even flatter. You know, I'm loving this. This one is plastic, so we're just gonna lift up just like I showed you how to do the evergreen. So this one here, I purchased it. When did I purchase it? I think last year, off, time, off peak season. I think it was spring was gone, and and all I'm doing now, guys, I'm just going to rotate these in, lift them up, rotate these in. <clears throat> so this white is really going to pop off, and uh, it's going to be great. So I had already pre-lifted it up a little bit before I came on. Tell me, guys, have you guys been enjoying this 12 days of Christmas? Let me know. Tell me what you think. Show me some hearts and some thumbs up and uh, spread the uh, video while you're on here. And uh, let people know what's going on. <clears throat> okay, done. Those are your colors, too? Wow. Hey, we got a lot in common. We got a lot in common. So now when you get uh, wreaths like this, you can use it for instance, if you want to take pieces off of it, you know, and use it to put it into a wreath or some sort like that, you can do that as well. I'm loving that silver. That silver really popped out. So this is what you will have so far, right here. Hi, Miss Tracy. How you guys doing? So this is what you will have right here. So what I'm gonna do is, and I'm gonna encourage, put in these ornaments, these red ornaments, because you know why? My colors are red and white, guys. <clears throat> but before we get started, I'm gonna make a cute little make a red bow and remember what like I told you earlier you always want to have red into your ribbons I always want to carry red because red is so universal for all holidays you can use this for again Christmas number one fourth of July Labor Day Valentine's Day all those days that you can use this red for <clears throat> so you always want to keep red always in your bank you do 
Thank you, Tamla, for enjoying it. I'm truly enjoying doing them. I'm going to tell you right now. So what I normally do to figure out how long I want my tail to be, I normally bring it down to right here. If I want my tail to be this long, I normally start right here, have it that long. That way, if I want to curl it, I can have it that way and have some uh, <coughs> loop into it as well. Curly loops, or I can ducktail it however I want to do. Now, what generally I do, I, can, I normally cut it like in 16 inches. <coughs> That's just to give me my tail that I can add on to. So I cut it at 16, and then I fold it in half and make a ducktail. And guys, check this out. When I put the glitter, sprayed that glitter on there, I got glitter all on my hands and everything. That is why I did not get a manicure because I knew I was going to be doing lives for 12 days and wreathing is hard on my hands. I'm going to tell you right now. I don't know about you guys, but it is hard on the hands. So after I cut it 16, I fold it in half, and then I make the ducktail, and then <clears throat> this is going to be a tail for me at the end. So you want to make sure you have your ribbon already unwired out. I'm just going to make a three loop, guys. That's it. I'm not going to go too crazy because, like I said, it's going to be an easy, simple simple reef here and this here is measured out to 14 the length <clears throat> so now this does have a, a shiny side on it because as you can see right here on the end on the edges it's shiny and on this part it's a little shiny but it has the holes on it so you know that is not the correct side now but however because <clears throat> the holes is a little bit bigger on this side so I'm going to measure out to what I normally do. This is how I t tell how long I want, how big I want my loops. I lay it down just like this. And I look at what I have, either it's ruffles or poofs or whatever else that you have in there. <clears throat> I normally look at it and I'm looking at it right there. As you can see, right there. The loop is not big at all. It's going to fit right well exactly how I want it. It's about two inches. You want about two inches, uh, a little more, you know, over your stem or where you're working with or your poof or your ruffle. So this is 12 inches. So when you make that loop, it then it measured out to six <clears throat> six because if you do 12 inches and half of that because you're folding it in half and that'll give you six so guys if you this is your first time joining please do not leave this live without clicking follow and like okay because you'll be doing me unjust if you don't So I'm going to twist it. And I always use wide ribbon. I do. Now, if you choose to not use wide ribbon, that is fine. So I bring it down to 12, and I bring it right back up to right where it's at. And I look at it, and I say, oh, bring it out some more. And one thing about it, when it's in your hand, you can look at it and see if it measured out because I don't know about you but sometimes when I have my bow in my hand it slips one is bigger than the other and you know you didn't me measure it out you didn't even did the bunny ear test and all of that and it still come out with one larger than the other and you be like what the heck what happened here I measured this so what I do I look at it real good and then i do an eyeball and i look at the bow and i said oh it looks even <clears throat> so just like i said i'm gonna do 
a three loop, three loop bow. And we're gonna measure it out to 12. And I did twist. The twisting is to make your bow stand up like this. And I know you guys probably already know this. But there's nothing wrong with learning more. What you say? See how I'm looking to make sure? And it is. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is just cut it like right there. I didn't even measure that, you guys. Now I'm going to take that 16 that I have. Hello, Miss Catherine. How are you? And I'm just going to stick it in right in there. Making a cute little simple little wreath to go on for me to go on my uh now you don't want to have a strong grip you just want to have it in there just like that in between those two fingers there <clears throat> and have your wire ready tonight I do normally I don't I don't know why sometimes I be slipping I know I'll Oh, you guys always have your things up. I'm making a wreath to go on my mirror when you walk into the house. Just a quick little simple wreath. Nothing. Do a couple of twists. I say a couple of twists and I be doing three, four. But that's me. That's how I roll. So that way I got a tail here and a tail there. And this is what you got so far. So I'm just doing a three loop. <coughs> and if I twist it too much, what you do is I make sure it's tight. And if you got, if you don't want all of that going down there so because it's going to make your bow stack up so what i normally do because i know i'm going to do some extra twisting i just untwist it a couple of times just like that i don't know what's that on my fingertips that's all right Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to place it on in right in here. No ram or reason. I'm just going to place it right there. Do a little wiring <coughs> around it. Make sure it's on there real tight. And I'm just going to twist it up. I got caught right in between one of those palms. Okay, now what we're going to do is just maneuver it all the way through. And I'm just going to put it in just like this. I'm just going to weave it in there. I'm not going to do nothing. Nothing all majorize with it do the same thing here now if you wanted to you can cut some more strips and just weave it on in intertwine it in with this being like this it can just stick on in there And 
and I'm going to cut my tabs off. <clears throat> I have it to go for. I got one going there, and that one going there. <clears throat> and then I can stick this in here to keep it down. And I'm going to dovetail these ends right quick. Even though I did put it in there already, that is okay. You can still dovetail them. Just pull it out and dovetail it. Hey, Miss Peggy, how are you doing? You been doing okay? Thank you for coming in. not going to fuss with this too much and this is what we have so far I'm going to bring it up like that because I'm going to have it like that now what I'm going to do is just now I can bring this bow up a little bit more and I probably will later on but for the sake of it or I can just bring some more ribbon tails in just like that to bring it in just pop that up like that Yeah, so we got that. And what I'm going to do is just put in test results on what, Miss Peggy? So I'm just going to stick these in. <coughs> What I'm going to do is start up here because I want a bow up, I mean, a ornament up here. And again, I just wired it on in. I'm not going to glue nothing in because <clears throat> it's for me. And I don't have to do that because it's for moi. Now, if you wanted to put in picks, you could do that as well. So, now I'm just going to stick these. See how you can just stick them in? Now, whatever color your color scheme is, you can do it. <clears throat> oh, COVID test. Seven days. Oh, my God. It is about seven days. They had started doing five days at our uh, job. So we, uh, so that means uh, you got to, you've been quarantined for, or you just taken it or you've been exposed to someone that had COVID. Oh, okay. Well, we hope we hope and pray that it's just sinuses. We're gonna pray on that and keep you lifted. That uh, none of that will come to pass. So I'm just putting them on in. Your husband was exposed. <clears throat> yeah, so you have to test yourself. So, guys, I'm just putting these ornaments in. No rhyme or reason. Just putting the jokers in. So, but your husband, he doesn't, he was exposed to COVID or do he have COVID?
Now you can put as many ornaments that you want. It is up to you. So I'm trying to see. Both of these sides look just alike. And I'm trying to see if. There we go. It looks shinier on the other side. It does. There we go. Twist it. Twist it. Make it do what you want it to do. So, this is what we have so far, guys. So, I'm going to put some more ornaments in here. Just going to make it very festive. That red speaks. Thank you, Gloria. That red and white, it just speaks out. Now, if you was putting this into a wreath, I would suggest if you have a and put one here just open this up I'm going to show you to do that kind of closey spread it out because my thought process was to only put five in here because I say five would do justice don't need to do an overkill on this because I just wanted to do a little popping of it into it not a whole lot hey Mr. Keela how you doing good seeing you baby girl Merry Christmas to you how are you doing? I know you're doing great. And congratulations that you're going to be with that. Be a presenter at, uh, can't think of it, the Roadhouse. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do a winter thing uh, in my group. I'm going to just show them how to do a winter wreath. How many of you guys do winter wreath? Do you put a winter wreath on your front door? That's exactly what I want to show y'all. Like right here, if you're doing it for customers, you want to glue that down. To make sure it stays on there. I got a little happy. So I can just put it back on there. And this is for me guys. So that is why I'm not doing any gluing. That way I can, when I put it up, the fastest I put it up, the faster I can take it down. Because I don't have to glue anything in unless it's for my customer. And that's when I glue stuff in. Okay, let's see. So you put one up, Kate, on great. So you know what? I got all the goodies for the winter wreath. Now, guys, if y'all want to do more tails, you can. You can add more or less, however you want to do it. Because this is going on my mirror. And I need it to be lightweight. I don't need it to be heavy, heavy, heavy. Now I have put a evergreen on there and it was it was like a 18 uh 12 inch evergreen and you know I just put a bow and kept it moving. So then you can put another one right here and I think I will 
just for sake of purposes. But I want, like I stated earlier, if you're putting it in your wreath, you want to make sure you glue that down. You take the top off or you can leave it on there and just pop it off and put that glue on there. Because nothing worse is when, cool, thank you just popping in. Thank you for popping in, Tequila. Have a beautiful week in enjoy thank you for the hearts everyone love you guys you want to have to go back and catch up these i got this wreath from uh joanne's i love joanne's they have some good um uh, wreaths like this because i had a green one for um uh, for my uh fall Some needle nose on this one. This one's a little open, that's why it popped off. Thank you, guys. Now, appreciate you. So, guys, y'all got to watch the recap because I showed everything that was done during that 12 days of live. I know because you be busy. I was watching you guys when y'all did y'all Christmas. Y'all did an awesome job. You had your partner in crime with you. It was cool. But I enjoyed it. I, I truly, truly enjoyed it. Coming up with content, it's just amazing. I love it. So after y'all do, the people that do lives... When you do your lives, did you go back and watch it to see, well, hey, you know what? I won't do that no more. Or why did I say that? So I got one here. I probably put another uh, little bow or something right in this little gap here. Right in there. Or I can just lift this up. So this is what we have so far, guys. So I can add some more ornaments in there. I didn't want it to be too much overwhelming. I just wanted to pop where people are seeing their eyes of see it going on. But I don't want too much going on. But I'm gonna probably add some more strips in there. But there you have it. Just like that. How about that? Love that white. That white. And also, guess what? I sprayed some silver on there so it's silver tips at the end of it. So you don't see it, but I see it. When you come in, you come into the door, you see the silver on the tips of it. I know. Yeah, you do learn from them lives, though. I look at them. I mean, when I was first started doing lives and I was looking at my husband say, you like watching yourself. I said, no, I'm just trying to see, to kick and see if I can do better. Because, hey... Everybody is always room for improvement. I truly know that. So, guys, and then when you put it on, because I'm going to put it on my mirror, use one of these. You can use one of these to put on there, and it don't harm your mirror. But I suggest do not put a heavy reef on there. Put something lightweight, what I just did. So, I, guys, I'm telling you, I truly enjoy all these 12 days. It was super cute. I'm loving it. I made this yesterday. It is cute. I'm loving it. This is part of one of my decors here for the house. So all of that and more because it got my my color scheme in there, what I like. So everything was super great. I I just thank God for allowing me to do it. And uh, with working and doing this and that. And I just kept telling the Lord, give me grace. Give me grace. Each day I came on, give me grace. Give me grace, Lord. Because I would get off late. One time I got off so late that I had to tell you guys I couldn't do it. I had to make up. So, because we had three traumas that day at the hospital. But I kept saying, Lord, give me grace. I said, if you give me grace, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And uh, he did. And I did that. Thank you with God's help. All of that. So, guys, thank you so much. If you want to watch all the replays of the 12 Days of Christmas, it's on my page. I will be happy if you do. And leave a comment there. And also, if this is your first time coming on, please click that like and follow button. 
And also, I do have an Instagram. You can go there and follow me there. I'm on Pinterest. I do have a YouTube channel, Reese by Veronica. All my social media is Reefs by Veronica. My website is Reefs by Veronica. I do have a group. It's a master class group. It's a monthly subscription. You see, I have my shirt on. You can go there if you want to join and join in the fun, being around like-minded individuals. Yes, he is. God is able. I trust and believe and know it because uh, everybody has been through stuff that know how God is, and he's a good God. And one thing about him, what he do for you, I know he will do for me. Because that's how he roll. He don't show nobody. He loves everyone. And he going to give everybody they do. Hello, Miss Jessica. Yes, Jessica. I got my gift. Look, guys. My cousin is on. This is my cousin made this for me. And she is making it. You know we got to have our sanitizer. So she made this. Isn't it cute? I'm loving it. It's super duper cute. It has my initials on it. So when Jessica is on here, and if you want one, Jessica can make you one. How about that? I love it. And then look, it got a keychain on it. You can put it, clip it on your uh, your purse. That's what you need it because you put it on your purse. And then it ha you can clip it. And then she have one where you can put it on your keychain. So you get two. How about that? It's lovely. I love this, Jess. So I got to go fill mine up so I can have mine at all times, especially at work. I can click it on my bag. Thank you, Jessica, so much. I got it today, and I love it, love it, love it. So, guys, thank you for being here. I truly, truly enjoyed it. 12 days. It was amazing. It was fun. I enjoyed it, and I uh, got people on that's, Never purchase a wreath from me. Purchase wreath from me. That's all God. Nothing I do. I takes no credit for it. It's all Him. I'm giving Him, giving Him all the credit because it's all Him that's allowed me to do it. Thank you guys. So before I leave, I want to say, put God first, and everything else will fall in line. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming on for twelve days. Truly appreciate. It. But before you leave, spread this video while you're here. Do not leave without like, following, and spreading the video. And go subscribe to my YouTube channel, Reese by Veronica. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Have a blessed day. And Merry Christmas to all of you guys. Love you. You know my daughter getting married on New Year's Eve, so I got to get ready for the wedding. Get everything in line. Make sure everything is good. Have our little chit-chat, see if everything going right. So, that's what I'm going to be doing these upcoming weeks. Getting prepared for the wedding and, hey, COVID is here. There's nothing I can do about it. Wasn't no secret of God. He already knew it was going to be here. So, we're just going to keep pushing and keep going. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Have a good night.